So here we are, 200 years after Darwin's birth, 150 years after the publication of On the Origin of Species. Charles Darwin is the man who doesn't go away. He's still important, he's still venerated. His central idea of evolution by natural selection is still considered not just right, but fundamental, central to all of biology. You say the voyage of the Beagle and everybody thinks Galapagos, Galapagos. Darwin was on this ship, got his idea about evolution, uh, went home and wrote a book. Well, it was much more complicated than that. The Galapagos were important, but um, they weren't the only place where he found evidence to push him toward the idea of evolution. The other place was the east coast of South America, particularly in Argentina, south of Buenos Aires, where he excavated the fossils of giant extinct mammals. Darwin found these fossils of things that seem to be giant extinct armadillos, giant extinct ground sloths, and some other strange creatures. They started him thinking about the implications of finding giant extinct armadillos from millions of years ago in the same area where we now see living armadillos. This suggested to him uh, the idea of descent from common ancestors, descent with modification, the evolution of all species from um, an original trunk of the tree of life. And he recognizes that in the very first line of The Origin of Species, the very first sentence of his great book, alludes to the fossil mammals he saw on the coast of South America. It's amazing that he is still central, his discovery is still central, 150 years later, and it's amazing that some people are still threatened by it, are still resistant to it. What does that mean? It means that it's an incredibly powerful idea.